Welcome back everyone. It's been a while. I have not done any home videos for a while. I've been going to the gym uh, and doing some some weights and stuff there and a bit of zumba there. I have done nothing at home but today is our first day of stay at home lockdown. So we will usually go to the gym on Sundays to do zumba but it's cancelled so I ought to do some workout at home and get my sweat on. And I'm going back to the app that I was using when I first started the HIIT uh, exercises and whatnot. And um, this one's a 25 minute HIIT with uh, Carla on the Rebel Fitness app. I'm gonna I'm gonna start it in a second, and we'll see what she uh, wants us to do. I also forgot to do my weigh-in this month. It's been a little bit uh, busy, very busy. So I'll probably weigh myself uh, at the start of July. Hey guys, Carla here. Today's workout is an upper body workout that will work the arms, the abs, and the obliques. So don't forget to power off, hydrate when you need to, and have fun. <laughs> So when you're ready, let's do it. Okay, for your warm-up, we'll be starting with your forward shoulder roll. So standing hip width apart or a little bit wider, it's up to you. I prefer putting my hands on my shoulder just to feel my deltoids roll, but you can just dangle it whenever you want. Let's do 10 forward. One, two, three, four. Lubricating the muscles, warm up the body. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's reverse. You got one, two, three. How are you feeling? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now let's do your wrist rotations while jogging. So one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Six, seven, eight. Activating the wrist. Nine, ten. Let's reverse. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we'll be doing your inchworms. We will stand at the edge of your mat. Preferably, uh, I like I my stance wider so that my legs won't bend. But if you kind of want to bend your knees, if you're feeling tight today, that's okay too. So let's do ten inchworms. Pinch from your hips, crawl forward to your plank, hold a bit, activating those core muscles. Yeah? Okay, that's one. Let's do nine more. All right, two. So really feel that stretch in your hamstrings at the back of your thighs. Activate the abdominal muscles by drawing your navel to your spine, yeah? And regulating your breathing. This is four. You're almost halfway. You got this. We got this. Five. So usually people say to bring their wrist on top of their shoulders. If it's slightly forward, that's okay too. Yeah? Six, we all have different bodies. So let's respect each other's bodies. Seven. Different strokes for different folks. Eight. Almost there. Keep on going. Nine. Really brace your abs, pull your rib cage, and elongate your spine. And ten. Woo! All right, by now you should be feeling warm. Last but not the least, we have your seal jack. So we're just gonna open our chest and close with jumping in and out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Are you breathing? Five, six, you got this. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. That's it for your round one. Let's do your second round. So if you're ready, let's do it. Forward shoulder rows. Here we go. In three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got this. Eight, nine, and ten. What you do in the front, you reverse it. Life is a balancing act. That's one, two, three, four. Regulate your breathing. Inhale. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's move into your wrist rotations with jogging. So clockwise first, here we go. One, so just jog it out and roll it out for three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and then we reverse for counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five. You got the six, seven, draw your place, seven, eight, nine, and bad count, take ten. All right, next up we have your inchworm. So same thing. You may bend your knees, you may keep it straight. Depends on your mood today. So I like mine straight so that I can feel the stretch in my hamstring. You can keep it bent too if you're not feeling flexible today. I can do it with you. So one, and stand up. Give me nine more. Two, stay with it. Really hinge from your hips or bend from your hips. Feel it stretch in the back of your legs. Three, that's it. And breathe through it. You don't want to go all out in your warm-up. You just want to activate the right muscles so that you're ready for the actual workout. So don't be too intense. <laughs> just ease your way in through your workout. You'll be fine. We'll be fine. Six. All right. A few more reps. Seven. Are you with me? You can take a breather whenever you want to. Remember, this is your workout. Your time to shine, so pace yourself, rest when you need to, and hydrate if you feel like it. Nine, one more, and ten. Last but not the least, we have your seal jacks to open up the chest muscles and the back muscles. Here we go. One, really squeeze your shoulder blades. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's it for your round two let's move on to your last round here we go going back to your forward shoulder roll when you're ready in five four three whew, two and one hands on your shoulders or off your shoulders to give you one two three really feel that rotation that activation four five i'm really bad at counting six seven eight nine and ten we reverse backward shoulder roll one two three how are you feeling four five six seven eight nine and ten now let's do your wrist rotations while jogging so one two three four five that's it six seven eight activating the wrist nine ten let's reverse one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. All right, now we'll be doing your inchworm, so you will stand at the edge of your mat, pinch from your hips, crawl forward to your plank, hold a bit, activating those core muscles, yeah? Okay, that's one. Let's do nine more. All right, two. So really feel that stretch in your hamstrings at the back of your thighs. Activate the abdominal muscles by drawing your navel to your spine, yeah? And regulating your breathing. This is four. You're almost halfway. You got this. We got this. Five. So, usually people say to bring their wrists on top of their shoulders. If it's slightly forward, that's okay too. Yeah? Six. We all have different bodies. So, let's respect each other's bodies. Seven. Different strokes for different folks. Eight. Almost there. Keep on going. Nine. Really brace your abs. Pull your rib cage and elongate your spine. And ten. Last but not the least, we have your seal jacks to open up the chest muscles and the back muscles. Here we go. One. Really squeeze your shoulder blades. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, we are done with your warm up. Let's proceed to the workout, with, which is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for three rounds. First move, we have your wide push up to shoulder tap to rocket launcher. So let me just show you what's gonna happen and give you the options that you can do. So, starting with your plank position, maybe bring your wrists a little bit wider than your shoulders. You go down and up and tap and then rocket launcher this is two challenges you go down on your knees leave with your chest lift with your abs do your shoulder taps and then just do your rocket launcher 
up to you. It's your workout. So we do, we'll be doing that. And then the next exercise, we have your bare row to renegade row. So for your bare row, tabletop position, tuck your toes, lift your knees off the ground, and just imagine you're pulling something. And then step out and do the same thing. So you can jump it up or you can walk it up. That's your second exercise. Next up, we have your sprawls. So this is why we did your inchworms a while ago. So from this position, from your standing position, you have the option to jump it up or to walk it out. It's really up to you. So I prefer walking it out, but I can jump it out for you guys too. So here we go. Step it up and step it back in and stand. Or jump it out, jump it back in and stand. Next, we have your bent over row, straight arm, sorry, bent over, straight arm pulses. So basically, you're just going to bend over, soft knees, hinge from your hips, and just pulse your arms to a T position, yeah? Really engaging the triceps, the biceps, and the shoulders, the chest, and the back muscles, yeah? Last but not the least, we have your reverse plank jacks or reverse plank toe taps. So... Sit on your tailbone first, set yourselves up, hands behind you, fingertips pointing to the heels of the foot or feet, and then you can just jump it out. This is too challenging, lift up and just tap it out. It's really up to you. So when you're ready, let's do it. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for three rounds. Let's start with your wide push-up to shoulder tap to rocket launcher. Here we go, 40 seconds. We'll start in five, in four, in three, in two, and in one. Let's do it. Leave with your chest, lift with your ab. Tap your opposite shoulder with your opposite hand. So you want to flow through this motion. It's not about killing yourself when you work out. It's about rewarding yourself. Now, if this is too challenging, go down on your knees. That's okay. It works the same muscles anyway. And then just do the same thing. Work in the chest, the back, and the arms. Yeah? 10 more seconds. Here we go. You can do the full expression as well. It's really up to you. Almost there. Breathe through it. You got three. You got two. Add one more up. And one. 20 seconds to recover. Let's go through your bear row to renegade row. You can jump it out or you can walk it out. So same thing. We start on your tabletop position. And then we tuck your toes. We lift your knees off the ground. So you're like a table. Okay? In three, two, and one. Let's get it. Minimal torso movement. So you want to make sure that your abs are really engaged, working the back muscles, squeezing the shoulder blades, retracting the shoulder blades, or just basically kiss, trying to make them kiss each other. There you go. Almost halfway. Are you breathing? You can. It's possible. Just regulate it. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. You have 15 more seconds. If you want to amplify it, Jump it out, jump it in. Truly really up to you. This is your workout. But I like mine in moderation because I want it to be relatable. And you're done. Next up, we have your sprawls. So get ready to stand up. And you have two options to jump it up or to step it up. In five, four, how are you? Three, two, and one. Let's start by walking it up first. And then maybe in the next 20 seconds, we amplify it. But if you want to amplify it as early as now, it's really up to you. It's your workout anyway. So you've got 20 more seconds here before we move on to the last two exercises. And then we're done with round one. There you go. 15 seconds, stay with me. Out, in, and up. All right, you got five seconds before we go straight to your bed over straight pulses. Bend over straight arm pulses. In three, in two, and in one. Bend over soft knees and just spread your wings. Squeeze your back muscles. There you go. Working the chest, 
the back, triceps, biceps, if you engage the arms. So even your fingertips, try to shoot them out. Imagine you're like a bird flying. <laughs> All right, you got 20 more seconds. You're halfway there. Keep it going. We got this. So remember, if you look at my form from the side, you're going to see that I'm hinging from my hips and sending my butt back. It's not like I'm keeping my legs straight, so it's okay. Flat back in four, three, two, and one. All right, 20 seconds to catch your breath, to regroup. Last one is your reverse plank jacks or reverse plank toe taps. So if legs straight are still too, cha is still too challenging, you can bend your knees and do the same thing. Clap, tap or jump out, jump in. But let's try it out with our legs straight. Here we go, in three, two, and one. Try to point your toes. You can start it off with your toe taps, and then when you're feeling it, when you're feeling ready already, or if you're feeling playful today, you can jump it out. That's it. On your heels, point your toes. It's a little bit high impact on the knees, so you can just go back to your taps, that's fine. You got a few more seconds. 10, 9, breathe through it. Abs engage, 8, squeeze your butt cheek, butt cheek. 7, 6, 5, 4, whew, 3, 2, and 1. That's it for round 1. Stick around. For round 2, you've got 15 seconds left. And then we do the same thing all over again. Repetition is key. 10 more seconds. Wide push up to shoulder tap to rocket launcher. Here we go. In 4, 3, 2. On your knees or on your toes. 1. Here we go. That's it. Lead with your chest. Lift with your abs. Tap it out. And then launch it like a rocket. So if you're feeling heavy on your arms already, don't be scared to go down to your knees. It's working the same muscles anyway. Feeling that in your chest muscles, your arms, wherever you want to feel it in your upper body, that sensation. All right, you're more than halfway. You got 10 more seconds. And then we take a breather. All right, let me count you down. You got five. Squeeze in one or two more reps. You got this. Four, three, two, hi, yeah, and one. Next up, we have your bear row to renegade row. So remember to jump it up or to step it out. Up to you, okay? Ten more seconds. So tabletop position. Let's set it up first. Shoulders in line with the elbow joint or on top of the elbow joint. Three, two, and one. Hips in line with the knees. Row it up. Then step it up. Or if you're feeling strong today, then jump it in and then jump it out. Really up to you. Push away from the ground. Really grip your fingertips on the floor. That's it. Pacing yourself, regulating your breathing, playing around. You can jump or you can even step and then jump. So really up to you. You got 10 more seconds. Are you with me? We got this. Eight, seven, six, yes, five. Minimal torso movements, abs in. Three, two, one more. One. And that's it for your 20 seconds, or 40 seconds. You have 20 more seconds to recover. Let's move into your sprawls. All right, standing up. 10 more seconds, catch your breath, inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. You got five, you got four, you got three, you got two, and one. Here we go. So again, giving you two options. You can jump it out and in and stand up. Or you can step it out, out, in, in, and stand. Yes, I know it's tough, but so are you. All right, keep on going. You're almost halfway. You've got 20 seconds, and then you take a breather. What's that? Just a few more seconds. Push yourself. You got this. You just have to believe. Play around with it. You can step it up and then jump it out. Or you can jump or step or just step it out. Here we go. In three, in two, and in one. Hex up. We have your bent over straight arm pulses, okay? So fix your hair. I need to fix my mic. I need to catch my breath. You got 10 seconds. You're doing great. All right, you got five. You got four. Stay with me. Three, two, and one. Bend over and spread your wings. That's it. 
I know it seems easy, but actually if you combine it with the right exercises, it really activates the, re the back muscles and really hits the muscles. So it's this movement, you can't just ignore it. You can like use it and utilize it with other movements as well. So this is really good for your back, your lats, your chest, your biceps, and your triceps as you shoot to the side like a bird. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds, I talk too much. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, you got four, you got three, you got two, you got one. All right, 20 seconds to recover. Stretch it out, shake it off if you need to. And then let's finish it off with your reverse plank jacks or reverse plank toe taps in 10 seconds. Sit on your tailbone, and set yourselves up. Choose your option, bent knee, straight legs. It's really up to you, yeah? Here we go in three, two, and one. Let's start it off with your taps. Or if you're feeling extreme today, that's fine, jump it out. As long as you're squeezing your butt cheeks and you're landing it with your heels, yeah? But I like mine moderate <laughs> all right here we go really push away so what are we activating here not just your cardio um, cardio element but also your triceps actually because you're pushing from the ground there you go how many seconds do we have left you've got 10 seconds don't follow me <laughs> nine eight seven six five stay with it chest open four three two and one all right that's it for your second round now let's move on to your last and final round your round three we have your wide push-up two shoulder tap two rocket launcher here we go in five in four in three and two and one choose your option just open and then shoulder tap rocket launcher here we go so if you're feeling heavy on your arms already, don't be scared to go down to your knees. It's working the same muscles anyway. Feeling that in your chest muscles, your arms, wherever you want to feel it in your upper body, that sensation. All right, you're more than halfway. You got 10 more seconds and then we take a breather. All right, let me count you down. You got five. Squeeze in one or two more reps. You got this. Four, three, two, hi, yeah, and one. Next up, we have your bear row to renegade row. So remember to jump it up or to step it out. Up to you, okay? Ten more seconds. So tabletop position. Let's set it up first. Shoulders in line with the elbow joint or on top of the elbow joint. In three, two, and one. Hips in line with the knees. Row it up. Then step it up. Or if you're feeling strong today, you can jump it in and then jump it out. Really up to you. Push away from the ground. Really grip your fingertips on the floor. That's it. Pacing yourself, regulating your breathing, playing around. You can jump or you can even step and then jump. So really up to you. You got 10 more seconds. Are you with me? We got this. Eight seven six yes five minimal torso movements abs and three two one more one and that's it for your 20 seconds or 40 seconds you have 20 more seconds to recover let's move into your sprawls third standing up 10 more seconds catch your breath inhale exhale sigh it out you got five you got four you got three you got two and one here we go so again, giving you two options. You can jump it out and in and stand up, or you can step it out, out, in, in, and stand. Yes, I know it's tough, but so are you. All right, keep on going. You're almost halfway. You've got 20 seconds, and then you take a breather. What's that? Just a few more seconds. Push yourself. You got this. You just have to believe. Play around with it. You step it up and then jump it out. 
or you can jump or step or just step it out. Here we go, in three, in two, and in one. Hex up, we have your bent over straight arm pulses, okay? So fix your hair, I need to fix my mic, I need to catch my breath. You got 10 seconds, you're doing great. All right, you got five, you got four, stay with me. Three, two, and one. Bend over and spread your wings, that's it. I know it seems easy, but actually if you combine it with the right exercises, it really activates the, re the back muscles and really hits the muscles. So it's this movement, you can't just ignore it. You can like use it and utilize it with other movements as well. So this is really good for your back, your lats, your chest, your biceps, and your triceps as you shoot to the side like a bird. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds, I talk too much. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, you got four, you got three, you got two, you got one. All right, 20 seconds to recover. Stretch it out, shake it off if you need to. And then let's finish it off with your reverse plank jacks or reverse plank, two taps in 10 seconds. Sit on your tailbone, set yourselves up, choose your option, bent knees, straight legs. It's really up to you, yeah? Here we go in three, two, and one. Let's start it off with your taps. Or if you're feeling extreme today, that's fine. Jump it out. As long as you're squeezing your butt cheeks and you're landing it with your heels, yeah? But I like mine moderate. <laughs> All right, here we go. We push away. So what are we activating here? Not just your cardio, um, cardio element, but also your triceps actually because you're pushing from the ground. There you go. How many seconds do we have left? You've got 10 seconds. Don't follow me. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Stay with it. Chest open. Four. You got three. Almost there. Two and one. Yes, you guys are done. We are done. Air fives. Good job. Don't forget to hydrate and towel off. Thank you for coming to class, for coming through, and see you on the next workout. <laughs> Oh, that was a pretty intense 20 minutes. <sighs> I think after training at the gym without instructors like that, I'm used to having big rest in between any sets. And it's always rest break, rest break, rest break. So her only giving us 20 seconds. I sort of, uh, I really feel the burn, I really feel the grind. But I have a feeling my shoulders range of motion isn't that good. So when I put my arms behind my wrist, do that reverse plank, I'm really feeling my shoulder joints. But it was a good workout. <laughs> I got the huff and puff. I am going to go later and do weights. I'm glad you guys watched again. If you're still here all the way through, I love you, baby. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, because I will be posting more videos, even though I've had such a long break in between posting. And um, don't forget to leave a comment. Just say hi. I might say hi back, you never know. Peace out guys, stay safe during this lockdown.